Hi again, um, it's Julie from Shenandoah Shabby. Um, this is going to be the next video um, in my series of how I paint a piece you know, from beginning to end. So far you have seen, um, I've talked about prepping the piece, how to clean it, um, doing some minor repairs, and the second video I did was about um, shellacking the piece. You saw me shellac um, one of the drawers. Um, so what I'm showing you now, this is obviously the body of the piece. The top is going to be Annie Sloan Graphite. And I have already um, put uh, three coats of shellac on this. And between each coat I sanded um, you can use 220 grit sandpaper, or I mentioned in the last one about a sanding block. Um, this is, it's, you know, soft and foamy, so it's actually pretty, it's probably higher than a 220 at this point. Um, but I would just run over the piece and knock it down till it's smooth. You can check closely to see if there's any, um, any bristles in the piece, um, which I just saw one now that I didn't catch already. And um, and then make sure that the piece is uh, free from any sanding dust. Make sure that you're not sanding below the shellac. You just want to smooth it out. You don't want to be, um, uh, you know, uh, sanding harshly. So really, it's just usually a back and forth like that, and then I'm done. Um, so I'll show you how I. Um, I'll be putting the uh, graphite on. Um, so I, again, I use Annie Sloan. This is graphite. It's a dark gray. Um, you always want to make sure that your paint is completely mixed up. And I almost, well, no, I always pour my paint into some other container. Um, I've seen some people use it right out of the container and that's great for them, but um, I don't trust myself not to contaminate the container. Um, always, you always want to stir up the paint. And I use whatever I have. I save um, Starbucks cups, I save Anything that has a top is great because I can um, put the top on and that'll seal it nicely for later if I have too much. And uh, this is an old can, so it's a little bit flaky. I've gotten better at keeping paint cans clean, um, but this one's been around a little while. <laughs> so I'm just going to get some of the flakes off to make sure it doesn't contaminate my, my paint. There we go. Okay. Um, and like I said, I've gotten better at, at making sure I don't contam um, get, you know, flaky paint lit paintlets. Um, so that just really takes making sure you wipe it off well and back into the can or into your container and sealing it shut. I'll hammer this shut um, when I'm done with the video. Um, okay, so another thing I do with Annie Sloan paint is I always water it down a little bit. Um, the first coat, just a tiny bit because it's super thick. Second coat, I will wa water it down even more. I do not measure this out. I keep a water um, spray bottle around. I'll give it a, a few little sprays, stir it up. Um, I just don't want it to be so super thick. I'll bring this closer so maybe you can kind of see the consistency. Um, it that was probably like two or three sprays. If I was doing a second coat or a third coat, um, I would do more. All right. Um, so the brushes, I you know I've tried various different brushes um, before, but my favorite is the Annie Sloan small paintbrush. I've been using using this for. Oh, this one particular one for over a year, maybe a year and a half. So it's it's um, it looks a lot different from when I from when I bought it. Um, 
but it's a great brush and has lasted a lot longer than some of the others that, I, that I've tried. I also have a small brush for small spaces. Um, I don't even know. This is from, um, from Joanne Fabrics, the brand Plaid. But I've used the same one, or no, Home Decor Chalk, I'm not sure. But I've used this same one. Um, I have another one that I've used for a couple of years, and it's very short now, great for small spaces as well. But this one's, this one I just bought um, last week, though. Um, yeah, and you just want to um, get the paint on. Um, I'm just checking for any uh, bristles. <laughs> Again, I hate when I miss them and then have to fix it later. Um, you want to get the paint on in a, in a relatively thin coat. Um, on these big spaces, I kind of work quickly. Um, and you just go for it. When I first started this, I was so worried about, oh, what about brush strokes? Do I, um, do I want brush, brush strokes? Do I not? Um, at this point, most of the work that I, most of the stuff that I do, um, I'm not going for like a super shiny, flat look. Um, I, um, I expect there to be some brush strokes and I even tell my clients that this is actually a, a custom piece. So they picked this, um, this dresser out of my inventory, unfinished, and um, They've just, uh, my client has decided on the colors and techniques and everything. You want to get the paint on. Don't overwork it. But don't stress about it. Um, you'll see here I've, I have taped off around the top because only the top is going to be graphite. The bottom will be pure white. And... Um, I want it to be nice, clean lines. I don't want it to look messy. Um, I have not shellac the bottom yet. The reason I, I haven't yet, I mean, it would be, it would have been easier to shellac the whole piece at once. Um, the reason I haven't yet is because I've done it in that order before. And when I taped it off and I took off the paint, the, the tape, um, the tape pulled off. The shellac which was not so nice so i had to touch that up which is not a big deal you you know that's easy enough to, to touch up but i'm just trying to prevent that so after i finish completely finish the top i will take off the paint tape off underneath so that the graphite doesn't get um contaminated and shellac the bottom Now it's hard to see. Um, I wish I could hang the camera from up there. Uh, I know my last two videos were outside, which I, I do like to work outside, but um, I work when I can, where I can. My, my kids are not here right now. I, I work when they are, they are out um, or when they are sleeping and and this dresser I did not bring outside before my husband left, so it's staying in here while I paint. Which is fine, actually, because it's getting a little bit hot outside and I don't want it to dry. I don't want the paint to dry super quickly. It's also getting a little bit humid out there. Um, I haven't tried the Annie Sloan uh, medium or large brushes. I do think that they might be nice for a, for um, the tops of pieces. Um, I just haven't bought one yet. You do not need to buy an Annie Sloan brush in order to use Annie Sloan paint. A good quality brush is certainly helpful, especially if you paint, paint a lot of pieces. I had a couple of brushes I, I bought early on. I thought were fantastic. 
And gosh, only a few pieces in, the br bristles were coming out in chunks. And it was, I mean, they were done for. But this I've had, I mean, I've done dozens of pieces with this brush and it's still great. Um, a lot of people, or some people, um, will paint sort of every which way. Um, I will do that sometimes, but this one is, um, I want a little bit of a cleaner looking finish. So I'm, I'm painting with the wood grain. And I always think, you know, on the first coat I want to get, I just want to get really good coverage. Watch out for drip marks. You don't want those. I'm going to switch to the smaller brush now to get um, underneath here. And there are lots of different um, paint options that you can use. I keep on coming back to Andy Sloan because I just really prefer the way it goes on. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great paint. it for now. Um, first coat of graphite done. I will save this paint um, and I have a lid for this so that'll be fine when I come back um, and paint again. My my paint brushes I will normally if I'm done um, for the day or I'm done with the color I will wash them out of course uh, but I'm gonna paint the, the second coat um, as in a little bit as soon as this dries. It should be dry oh we'll see in an hour or less I don't know. Um, but I'm going to just wrap it in saran wrap or put it in a plastic baggie and um, put it in the fridge and they'll be good to go and, and um, still be able to use them for the second coat. Um, and that's it for now. Uh, hopefully this was useful and helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I will come back um, with another video to show you the second coat um, of graphite going on here soon. Um, yeah, thanks again. I'm Julie from Shenandoah Shabby, and thanks for watching.